All right, praise the Lord. This evening we are very blessed to have our very own sister. Sister Jennifer Kamsime. She is a businesswoman. She will tell you what she does. She's a manufacturer. She will tell you what she does. She is married. She has children. Praise the Lord. So she's a mother. Mama. She read her books. So she's, she's a lady who has gone through a lot like many of you are. And she has a lesson for us tonight. So can you welcome Sister Jennifer, please? <laughs> please welcome Sister Jennifer. God bless you. And Sister Fiona. Let's just sing this chorus. Katuyimbe yo kanuka chorus. Mo yomutu kuvu jangu jangu mu chifo chino chino. It feels so good when we feel your presence, Lord. And in this corner of this auditorium tonight, Lord, it's my prayer that you will touch everybody. That our lives will never be the same again. Spirit of God, come and lead us. Show us the way. Watch our steps. Watch our actions. Our words. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. When I got saved, I told God, never take me in front of people to preach. These people I see on the streets preaching, lying to people. And then you tell me to stand on the pulpit to lie. Give me something else. Don't tell me to preach. But God is amazing. He's the one who turns things the way he feels he wants you to become. That to some of us who are not worthy, that you find people clapping for you to stand on the pulpit. I'm so humble tonight. I want to thank you, Pastor. I'm Mama Irene. I'm really honored to be here tonight. My name is um, Jennifer Kamsime. Jennifer Kamsime. Married to Mr. Kamsime. We have three children. My firstborn is 18 now. The second one is 17. I came with her. 
Just stand up and wave to the people. She's treasure and she's our intercessor at home. When we are all weak and we cannot pray, you find her praying for us. Do not despise the children. Because they can change your life. The last born is eight years. So those are only three. But I have more children who call me mommy. I think about ten people that have walked the journey of mothering with. So briefly, that's how we are. Let me introduce myself on the other side. In the other side, I'm a business person. Muna business. I don't know whether people can get for us the products that we sell si on the screen. Okay. I'm a CEO in the company called Durapo Solutions. Yes, CEO wa company eyo waguru. And we manufacture go so back, please. Go back. go back, please. We manufacture tile adhesive. Bakola tiles. Tile adhesive. Ebi kola tiles. Ebi siba tiles. With a brand name Quickset. Enanga bako seri nyeri odia Quickset. Has anyone seen Quickset in the city? Yes, that is our product. Now, under Quickset, we have those tile cleaners. They had already shown them there. If you have tiles that are stained, we have the product. We have the uh, cement remover. If you see, after tiling, the cement that gets stuck on the tile. So those stubborn stains, we remove them. And again, I'm a general manager in Kampala Tile Market. Tile Market, we import and sell tiles. I think we must be among the pioneers in the city. It's been revolving. It was another name as I go along. I will explain to you. But we are called Kampala Tile Market. Um, I'm also a proprietor in Berries and Brew. Berries and Brew. This is our restaurant. Your restaurant here. It's on Entebbe Road. Eric Entebbe Road. So I want to thank God so much for this journey that He has brought me up to this level. Because it's not been my making. It has not been my power. But has been Him. In Quickset, I have partners. I work with other people, but in Berries and Blue, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one. I'm the proprietor in Berries and Blue. In Quickset, I have a lot of people who and Blue. Hallelujah. So briefly, that's what we are. And that's what we do. And I feel that before we leave this place tonight, the Lord is going to stir up your spirit. That before you leave, you will go and start something. The secret of success is stepping forward. Believing in yourself. I will make it. I will do it. If she did it, I can do it. We were born eight girls in the family. But we were despised. My uncle used to tell my father, what will they be? That made me thinking that I need to turn around my situation. That I need to turn around my history. That my salvation has to be respected. Because 
If you do not think like that, then you are still a child. But as you grow in the spirit, your salvation has to be respected. Your salvation has to change your environment. Your salvation must change your sisters. Your salvation must change your family. Tonight, the eight girls, when we go back to our family, before we reach, they cannot start a meeting. That is the God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I have somebody here who wants to change the generation? Are you sure you're going to make it? Because the higher you go, the steeper it becomes. So if you're ready to climb the mountain, we're going to climb together. I refuse to fail. I don't fear. How do I start from there? I don't know how, but that's a spirit. A spirit of God. Okay, today I want us to talk about dream big and lock your past, but the, your potential. Dream big and lock your past, but the, your potential. Dream big and unlock your potential. What does dreaming big means? Having the mental freedom to think about what you really want out of your life. And forget about all the reasons why you can't make it a reality. I like dreaming. One of the writers said that no dream is too big. If you want it, you will find a way to make it happen. Hallelujah. Amina. That is the dream. Now when we go to the scriptures, the Bible tells us Psalms 37, verse 23 to 24. It says the steps of man are established by the Lord. When he delights in his way, though he falls, he shall not be cast headlong. For the Lord upholds his hand. Why does God focus on the steps? Because he wants to see that when you step here, he wants you to leave um, a testimony. So he makes sure he watches as you step. That when I put it here before I leave, I get out with a testimony which has to change the world. For those of us who have children in primary, when my son comes back with homework for mathematics, he gives you a number. Help me, mommy. You have an answer, but you don't have the steps. And then you start arguing. This is the answer, Elijah. No, it's not. The steps. They are very important. You are not going to tell us that you succeeded. And you don't show us how you reached there. We have a challenge today. Women want to cut weight, but they don't want to exercise. They want shortcut. People want to succeed. When you tell them work hard, ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Should we continue? That's what is happening in the world today. Young people. The world is watching. The Lord is watching. He's looking at the youth. Because you are there to change the world. But you want to see your steps. And you will tell us this is where I passed. And this is where I am today. It's the reason the Lord watches your steps. How many times have you heard people, I want this, I wish I was, I wish I was, I wish. Even after this conference, you hear people, I wish I was that woman, I wish, I wish, I wish. Let me tell you these things are possible. I've told you my background was nothing. Even where I got married, there was nothing. I remember the day I was going to introduce. I'll never forget. My sisters told me, you are going to this family. This one. What do they have? Isn't that what they're asking you? What do they have? One of my sisters did not even attend my kwanjula. She said, I'm busy, I have my own things. Because I mean, I was just going in a family that is nothing to them. Isn't that what people look, when they look at it, isn't that what they say? Just look at the situation where you stay. You are nothing. But in God's sight, you are something. The Bible says that He knew me before I was born. He knew that I have a destination somewhere. It does not matter what I'm going through now. It does not matter whether I've not eaten. It does not matter I'm going somewhere. Dream big. When should we dream big? Now. Dream when you have nothing. Dream a car when you can't even afford a bicycle. Dream a car when you can't even pay school fees for your children. Start dreaming your big houses. Now is the best time to dream. When dream, don't dream when you have reached your husband's home. When everything is there, and then you start, I see God is taking us somewhere. A ladies in the house, you can make a difference in your husband's home. They told us how to make a value, to put a value on yourself. Have a price tag on yourself. That when you are in your husband's home, you can make a difference. He calls you to discuss a matter. You have something to contribute. No wonder that's why I told me they are telling you not to go to work. Why? Because you have nothing to contribute. Strengthen yourself. When your husband says we are going to build a house and you see has nothing, say, yeah, it is possible. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight we are going to unlock our potential. All of us, we have a secret. There's something that God put in your heart. There's something that God embroidered in you when he was creating you. If you can discover yourself, you will not kneel to men again. I'm not saying a woman to kneel to a man. I'm talking about a man and a woman. To start walking around begging and begging. Unlock your potential. We are going to look at the processes. How we can go towards our dream. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amina. I want people who are going to touch big things. Where well, it's good to have some little money that keeps you moving. But there's something bigger than that. Doesn't it feel good when you are when, when you're employing people? Me to me, it's not about money that I have on a bank account. And indeed, I don't even have it. But when I see people walking out and paying school fees because I've paid them, it's satisfying we are all called to change the world. Hallelujah. Amen. So how do we discover our potential? Discover your purpose. The Bible says, Bible if you are in Christ, you are called to God's purpose. When we are saved from our sins and given the new identity in Christ, we are welcomed into fellowship with God. We are brought to his person and into his purpose. He calls us into this and orders our steps. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 in fact, it says that we, do, we don't even live anymore. Christ lives in us. So it means that our entire universe is wrapped in two, into him. Our, our dreams are surrendered sal, to the goal of his glory. So the first time you just need to have direction. Discover your purpose. Why am I here today? But why? My life is like this. But why am I here? Did God create me to suffer? Do you believe the scriptures you read? If he did not create you to suffer, then there's something more. Sit down and think and say, why? Some of you have got talents. And probably it's the talent that God is talking about. He said, you're made to be something through that talent. But you're just seated on it. So the first step to, to unlocking your potential is understanding who you are. The way you see life shapes your life. How you define life defines your destiny. Ask your neighbor, how do you see your life? Okay, from this year up to like 2026. How do you see your life? Amen. Amen. People express their lives differently. If you think your life is a party, then your primary value will be having fun. Actually, focus on on buying clothes to take you for the party. If you view your life as a marathon, you will value endurance. If you see life as a battle or a game, Winning will be important to you. I, 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 
I started competing in a way I was brought up. Because my, my uncle and when our father died and our uncles kept on torturing us, they were like, they are nothing, they are nothing, they are nothing. I developed this. And I said, I must work hard. Hallelujah. Amina. Do we have party animals in the house? So have fun. Kati chakala nyumirwa. Number two. Echo kubiri. Develop an idea. Tandi kofuna ye chiro wozo. Develop an idea. Funa ye chiro wozo. A dream. Start looking at yourself 10 years. Where you want to be. A family can develop an idea. I have seen working with our children. It puts me on a competition. Because I have told them my idea. I just want to achieve it. Develop an idea. What do you want to do? Let me tell you. Some of these things that we do in life. It's not about money. It's an idea. God blesses ideas. For you don't mind where the money will come from. Just have an idea. The God will bless it. Let me tell you. When you have an idea, God positions people on the way. That they will help you achieve what you want to achieve. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you a story recently. I started an idea of a restaurant recently. But I had never studied anything to do with food. Not even having people around me that are doing the same business. But I just got a passion and I said, I can change something. I can do something. I did not have the money. The little man I have on the, account, on the account, I think it was about 10 million. Now don't say 10 million is money. Also, your dream probably could be talking about 10,000. 10, 10, no, honestly, these days, 10 million, you go to the supermarket, you come back with a cavera. Because the So I moved with my 10 million. I looked for a place. I took many people to that place. But you know when you have a dream, God speaks to you as an individual. Do you know that the best discouragement can be your neighbor? The very person you sleep with. When I told him, he said, ah, you have started now. You've been in construction. That is your area. Why don't you stay there? They were telling us about revenue streams. For you don't know what is going to happen. If this one fails, you have plan B. That's how it works. Some of us are just stuck on one revenue Stream. If something happens today, now I go with 10 million. I, I got a place. I showed people. They said the artists can't work here. 
It was, I think, 2019, towards the end of year. I asked one of my sisters, yeah, you, 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 you studied these things, you do no. cakes. I think you can help me here. He no. said, I, I even asked my friends, they said, this is a wrong season for investing. No, don't, don't, don't. It is a bad period. But I just felt like, ah. I want this place. I looked at the place. It was a little bit small and incomplete. But my heart kept on saying this place can become something. So I paid, let me cut the story short, I paid for rent. After paying rent, I think it was seven million. I had three million. And then I remained with three million. Now I have to buy the things to put in that restaurant. So as I was telling somebody, he told me, by the way, I know a good chef in Cafe Javas. You see how God Javas. puts your people here. I, I, For you, what you have to do is to believe. And take a step. And you see how God will surprise you. So the guy comes and then he checks. He says, hey, a small kitchen, but you can put things. He started, put this, put that, put that. How much roughly do you think this costs? He counted it was about 30 million plus. I said, So I go with my three million that I had remained with. I went to Katwe. There is a shop that has um, kitchen stuff. I only brought a cake display. This guy was a Muslim. I paid for it, I went. Came back the following day. I said, but I need oh, these the, 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 the things you have here. Can't you supply and I pay later? You see that boldness? That one can only come from the throne of God. And I told this guy, he said, let me go and see your place. So I you have you. a good place. Because I had done some bit of renovations and it was looking nice. He helped me. Now you are going to put an oven here. You are going to put a deep fryer. Uh, after two days, the guy loaded the truck and put them in the, the restaurant. Let me tell you, you are not, it's not about money. You don't have an idea. God blesses ideas. Today the restaurant is working. During COVID they were open. I saw God blessing us. I see people go home with Kavera. My workers get what to feed their children. I don't have to sit in the restaurant. I just go there over the weekend. Check on them. Encourage them. It's just the idea. Somebody could be sitting there and say, but how can you do such things? There are so many. We have 24 hours. I have children, I've already told you. Those 24 hours, you can use them well. Let us stop to to have excuses. And when it comes to family, you're able to do it, husband and wife. Let the wife do this as you do the other one. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Hallelujah. So you develop an idea. Oh my God, it's not about money. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. To 3. 2 to 3. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on the tablet that he may run who reads it. Dream and write it. Write it in your prayer closet. When you write, it's a reminder. 
Every time you look at it, you start thinking. Every time you think of buying a new shoe, you say, if I put this money here, I can start something. The reason why you're not starting is because you don't have an idea. So the money that comes in, you eat it. I believe in saving. But again, I believe in saving while investing. You cannot keep money on the account for long. With these functions we have every day. We have baby shower. So you have what? And you have to wear yellow. The following day you have to put on white. Hey, men, men have suffered with us. Men have suffered with us. And then they call you. Now you come. Jango. Photo time. Tuina wifana nyo kuwe wifana nyo. Musajja watu. Abami bano. Afana echi loozo mchala looza birthday. Ah, uh, ulila. He has a thought the wife is dreaming about birthdays. You will eat that money. <laughs> Invest your money. Sente bako uozi teka. If possible, just draw that idea. Echi echi loozo chuwandi ke. I want to run very fast now. Now set goals. Number three, set goals. Along the way after discovering your purpose, it is important that you set goals. What do you want to achieve in a given period of time? Let me take an example. I'm planning to build a house. So what can I do in the first three months? In the first year, where, what am I supposed to have achieved? Then in five years, you build your house. So building a house becomes a long time, a long term Goal. But then you have these small ones that you have to prepare to reach there. Hallelujah. Are you thinking? When you reach home, just call your wife. We are going to set goals, my dear. We set goals and watch over them because the Lord has already promised us that every step is going to watch over it. And be optimist, number four. Be optimist, op optimistic about your future. No matter how much you struggle in the process of achieving your dream, be positive that you will harvest the fruit of your perseverance. Persevere. Persevere. If Jesus did not persevere, where would we be? I like his confidence. He just said that I am going to die. In three days I'm out. You can't do it. And they told him, you be optimistic about your future. Why do you think you fail? When you're starting a business, you start by saying, I think, now what if I fail? That is the beginning of failure. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe in yourself. The Bible says that if God is for us, who can be against us? You have the scriptures. When we talk about money, these scriptures that you've been eating every day, they become life. You walk them, 
You walk over them. You speak them. You watch. That's what is happening. We lose because we have the scriptures, but we don't move with them in the marketplace. You must walk with them. We have a problem of URA. But when it comes to your doorstep, he just said, he who is in me is stronger. Just speak the scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm moving fast. But I hope you're learning slowly. Number five. Focus. If your focus is altered, you will notice different things. Somebody told me about two girls. That one went to the party. When she reached the party, she saw the host fighting the wife. So when she came back, she said, Oh, what a party. Very lousy. Very poor host. Another girl went to the same party. She came back and said, Oh, the party was nice. Oh, my God, I met friends. We had fun. We danced. It was nice. What is the difference between these two people? It is focus. It is focus. If you come to church and you want to focus on the bad thing, you will see it. If I come to church, I'm seeking God, I will see him. Let's not lose focus. Let's not lose focus. A friend of mine told me. She came to me, she had got a job. Praise the Lord, I got a job. Hallelujah. He said, oh, Mukama, Ngori, Mukuru. Hey, good, you're great. After I think it was about six months, she comes back. She comes back. I'm giving up. What is the problem? Where you enter the secretary, I cannot even greet you. These people have started meetings and they don't call me. What are you focusing on? So I asked him, so is your employer complaining? He said, no. But me, the things I don't like them. Focus. 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 Some of us, our dream is just seated where you are. It is seated in that small office. The small office where everyone is just passing. Hello, hello. But if you sit and focus, God himself, the appointing officer, is watching you, is watching your steps, is watching how you walk, is watching how you sit, how you talk to people. He will promote you. So now I ask this, this girl, so what happened to the appointing officer? And the pointing officer was God because we thanked God. So ask your neighbor what is happening to your pointing officer if he put you in that office. Why are you, why you running, running away? away? He knows. He's watching your steps. Stay focused. Hallelujah. Amen. There are too many scriptures. I won't read them. I was not told when I'm supposed to stop. And even I can't remember where I started from. If you, if you focus on something, you will get more out of it. If you focus on your dream, I want to assure you, you'll reach somewhere. You will not lose it. You will not lose it. Remember we are on a mission. Our role here is to advance the kingdom of God. Our role here is to advance the kingdom of God.
But if you reach along the way and you lose track, you lose your mission. Where you are, that is your mission. Where you are is the, where your mission is. You are called to make a difference. If the office has a problem, be the last one to leave. Because God called you to, God called you to stay there. Change it. That's what the pastor is saying. When you lose focus, you start complaining. That's what you hear for us who employ people. You just hear somebody saying that those things of theirs. When, when you hear an employee speaking like that, he has already lost focus. He should be the first one to fire. You are either in it or you are out. Remember, we have a dream. God is watching every step. What's wrong with us, Christians? You go back to God. I have a I don't understand. Oh, my God. They told us the other day that uh, uh, you start with a humble beginning. If the office is small, believe that it will grow. If the business is small, believe it will grow. Because you have a force from heaven that is going to watch over you. That is going to grow your business. I have a lot to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Number six. Discipline. The Bible tells us. Bible Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 11. That all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later it yields the peaceful fruit of the righteousness. To those who have been trained by it. Hallelujah. Amen. Discipline isn't fun. But it's very essential for our character for character development and to prepare us for the end result of our hard work. They are just simple things that we're used to. Attitude. Sleeping up to midday. Watching TV. We still have people here who still watch cartoon. Use that time you spend on cartoon to do something else. Read a book. Look at people who have succeeded. How do they behave? How do they eat? How do they talk? So as we go along towards our destiny, these small things start shaking and going out. You find that those petty, petty things no longer take you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We need discipline. Number seven. Fight for your faith. God is going to take you some places. If you don't stand by your faith, other beliefs are going to take you. They are the young girls that are here outside there there are animals waiting for us these days when men see women succeeding they want to detooth you they run away hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Amina. Our salvation has to be established. And get ready to fight for it. I went to Nakasero to start a small business when I was just trying. And I bought two containers of things. I, I rented around uh, Hardware City. Zainab. 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 As a Christian, I was saved. I got a young girl. Saved in Christ. We said, let's start. I took her there. The day we opened, I had learned that you have to pray. We tuned our small radio. And we prayed and we started moving like this. A Muslim looked like this. People like this. Hey, you have come. You. <laughs> he just walked away. In a space of six months, my girl was already pregnant by a Muslim. I just carried the things and I went, I went Business home. <laughs> My sister was a Christian. Muganda wange yali mulokoli. She could not explain it to a Muslim. So the Muslim had to preach his gospel. Kati wa msidamu yina amubuli de njiriye. She was so accepted. Oyo na yina kiriza. We have lost business women. To feel it, we Powerful business women. Because of small things. Fight for your salvation. Your salvation is going to be tested. Mr. Sekaran was here the other day and was talking, but I remember he's, he's my friend. We normally buy uh, things from there. And he also buys things from us. But when I had just joined work, somebody wanted to put me in a trap. They told me, go and buy furniture. And when I reached there, the salesperson said, do you want in your money? Which money? No, if you want, I can put a price and I add in your money. And at my workplace, I had enemies. They had set a trap for me. They were, I how much do you put in? They were, I think, 10 chairs about. I said, on one chair, you can do 100. Okay, I'm just, I can't remember the figure. And indeed, the money was good. But I just said, ah, ah. Yeah. God is God. He saved me. How many people have fallen in that trap? When you're busy pursuing your dream and you reach somewhere, then the devil traps you. When you are pursuing your dream, you walk as if you're on the bridge which is broken. You are scared of falling. You just walk. You just walk. Because I have a baby I have to deliver. Hallelujah. Amen. Fight for your salvation. That's why God put you there. Because he said he watches over our steps. God told the children of Israel. That when you reach in that land, which is full of honey and milk, do not be like them. Your salvation must shine in your family. Miss something that has helped me to survive is trust. If only you can get this tonight, God is going to trust you with bigger things. 
My journey has been a miracle. I cannot tell you that we started with money. But I see a business that has grown to billions. But because of trust, I went to Italy. Italy. And I met a manufacturer. We discussed, we discussed. At the end of our discussion, the guy had loaded us 10 containers. I did not pay a single coin. He said, go and do what? If you are trustworthy, God is going to trust you with bigger things. If you don't want it, just stay where you are. But if you want big things, let trust be with you. I already told you God has put people along the way that are going to hold your hand, that are going to walk with you until you reach your destiny. But somebody will give you those containers, you will not pay for them. I'm speaking to Christians. Little money. This little money. Walk in truth. David walked in truth. He surprised me. David. A man. A king. A warrior. But a man after God's heart. That every step he took, he would go back to us, should I? And you're walking this journey. Make sure you have God with you. That where you are going to stumble, you say, God, now what is this? I have met things, I'm telling you. But God has helped me overcome them. Even in this small business of, of restaurant, he had showed me his God. But you open and you find battles. So you have to ask God now where you are next. Because I don't know where I've reached. Even where I'm going, I'm not seeing. You can only do that if you have God with you. David said, should I pursue? And God said, continue. You overcome sure. You need that word. You need the assurance. When you are starting your business, when you are dreaming big, always check. Let there be checkpoints. And you say, Lord, am I still on the track? Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. I'm about to wind up. Don't worry. The devil will come to you because of your faith. And then you will give up and say, okay. The preacher yesterday talked about money. I'll just talk about trust God with your money. He will take care of your needs. People want to start giving when they make money. People with little money, they don't want to give. When they, when, they, when they talk about money, you just feel like they, talk, they are talking about those guys. I've told you my history. Now don't start looking at him and say, I'm the one who is going to put in money. I don't have it by the way. It's an investment that is in business. But let's trust God with our money. He will take care of our needs. And this is what I think. That time when he gave me a Muslim to pay for my things, it was about paying me back for the things that I've done. I can't exhaust that point very well like yesterday's preacher. But what I know, when you have an idea, ensure that your money is on the right stand with God. Your money is just your money, your money. You have a protection. Hallelujah. The last one. Let me merge these two. Now that you have done that, then step out with courage and start something. Start something. 
Step out in faith. Step out in faith. Sometimes you're waiting for God to do something. When God is also waiting for you to move. God cannot move unless you have moved. Do you believe it? God led the children of Israel from Egypt. And they reached at the sea. They didn't know where to go. And when they looked behind, they saw Egyptians following them. What did God say? He said, what are you doing here crying? Move on. Where? In the water. Sometimes it's just a matter of stepping in the water and then you see the way coming. It's just about taking a step of faith. You start something, however small. You see how God opens. I told you about that restaurant. Me, I was, my job was to take a step of faith. And God, and God was to open to show me where to go. Today, the restaurant is making money, my friend. We are looking for another place to put it in the city. And it's going to happen. Because I have a goal. I've already set a goal. Hallelujah. Amen. Take a step of faith. The last one, number 10. Be courageous. Be courageous. My friend, new field brings new battle. Every step you take, there is a battle. Have you ever thought a man after God's heart, he also had battles? In fact, even God told the children of Israel, he said, I have left in, uh, in the land of um, Canaan. He just said, I left, is it Amorites or whatever who can help me? So that I may teach you how to fight. Yes. Our God is a warrior. If you are not going to fight, stay where you are. Bambi tota and Casigara, you jolly. But if you want to, if you want to see great things, prepare for battle. The battle is waging. The war is waging. There are battles. We must teach ourselves on how to fight. Do you know where it gets When it gets hotter. Prepare yourself and fight. Don't run out because your victory is near. Hallelujah. I, mean, I have seen battles. You finish this one, this one comes. If you remember in Genesis chapter 26, Isaac, Isaac, was opening the wells that yeah, his father used to have. But whatever well he would dig, the herdsmen will contend. The devil is not going to allow you to just take things like that, my friend. You must also show him that I'm able. I am not going to surrender. Because he who is in me is stronger than the world. Prepare for battle. Be courageous. The marriage you are going in, there is battle. Be courageous. If you are not courageous, you are going to leave. If you are not courageous, you are going to leave. And I want to emphasize this. That if you fear battles, stay where you are. Don't make a step. 
Togeza kutuwa It's a warning. Are you ready for battle? Os we are kuruana. going to fight until we get that goddess promised us. Paul says that it's not that I have achieved everything, Paula, but I press on until I get hold of that that Christ holds on. We need to fight battles. But will you manage? You meet a, you meet a sister in, in, in the office. She tells, you, she tells you that, you know what? She tells you that, you know what? Osango or Uganda Mofis, and they keep telling I do, not I do not want battles. I do not soft life. That's what the devil wants. And he says, I've got you now. Be courageous. He told Joseph, be courageous. I mean, Joshua, be courageous. Be strong. If God is for us, who can be against us? No battle, no breakthrough. Because Aren't you not tired of doing the same thing anyway? Isn't that battle enough? If you have invested your money, you are going to fight for it. Don't allow somebody to chase you out of the shop. You see somebody says, now for to be for demo because the competition is too much. This adhesive has competition, my friend. I have sold it to you, but you're going to see why our product is excelling. I'm in partnership with people who don't know God. But every time I said, God, I must excel. That that I have put my hand, you said you. Press there is competition, but then you can go through. People have failed to start something because of the competition. If they are selling tomatoes, you do the same. Do it in a different way. But you sell them. These days, people are looking for good for good uh, displays. Me when I'm walking around in the market, I just go where I'm seeing some tomatoes are well arranged and if your neighbor has tomatoes, just arrange them in the way, position them, you see buyers. I'm a, I'm a person who believes for quality, in quality. And I want to excel. Everything I do, I do it in excellence. Don't run. The battle is just waging. We must reach there. If they did, we shall go there. The city is being taken up by it. really annoys me. You want to, to, to rent a building somewhere? Or space? What are we doing? Tell your neighbor, what are you doing? Get angry of the situation. That I'm going to fight. It does not matter what is coming. It does not matter what is following me. Who is with me is stronger. I am going to move forward. I am not going to stop. Moses told the children of Israel when they reached the sea. You're going to stand still. You're going to see how God is going to fight the battle. Stand up. We are going to fight. Stand up, ladies and gentlemen. We fight. There is something that you want to enter. But you are scared. I'm inviting you to stand and we fight a moment. Create your space and say I'm a fighter. I cannot lose. Speak to God. Just tell him I'm fighting on. I am not giving up. For my children, I'm not giving up. For my family, I'm not giving up. For my business, I'm not giving up. I must move forward. I am not going to stop. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Continue speaking to him. He is stronger. Fight. 
Father, heaven and, and earth belongs to you. We have seen you fight battles. We have seen you fight for David. You have seen you fight for the children of Israel. Even us, we are going to fight. We are not going to, uh, to surrender. We shall continue, my God. Today I decide I am not going to surrender. I must start my business. I must move forward. I open something. I will start something. Because you are going to bless me. In the name of Jesus. Fight. Fight. Father, teach us for battle. Yes. Prepare us for battle. Yes. Teach our hands yes. to fight. Yes. People have taken things because we are scared. When we try to start, we fear. But Father, tonight, give us courage. Give us strength. That we may do things. Father, the money you're giving us is to advance the kingdom. I ask you tonight that to bless us with money that can advance your kingdom, my God. There are so many people to bless out there. There are children looking for, for where to stay. Our children don't have jobs. Father, we call unto you tonight that you use us to... to to employ people. To cause us so the Lord says, Fear not that I am with you. 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 Do not fear. I am with you. I am with you. Can't you see? It? Yes. Some of us are just in the middle of nowhere. You are in the middle of the sea. You can't go back. You cannot continue. Your business is going. The deaths are killing you. Do not give up. Be courageous. The relief is coming. God is coming to you. Yes. God is coming to you. Yes. Refuse to give up. Yes. Refuse to give up. In the name yes. of Jesus. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Continue speaking to God and tell him your fears. Just tell him your fears. He knows it all. He's our God. He's our Savior. Yes. 